Hello there, welcome to another video from Parker Adams Boat Sales. I'm Jonathan Parker and today we're showing you this. It's as you know, Cap Camerat 9.0 WA, which stands for walk around. Um, and we're on the River Hamble today and it's just getting dark, it's just dusk now. It's a really beautiful time of day and it will really want to show you how the Cap Camerats have come on over the years because as you know Cap Camerat was always the sort of centre console boat, it was an alternative to a rib but really now this is set up like a sports cruiser with really really good accommodation. So we're going to show you all the features and benefits this boat has to offer from this spacious cockpit area that you can see here to the very generous downstairs living accommodation and mid cabin as well as the toilet room as you can see here with a separate shower very very unusual but let's show you around the boat now starting from the outside and um, because the cap camera still has kept that center console which you can walk around which it was so famous for um, and as you can see um, it has really nice lines to the 9.0 wa the walk around um, and this one actually has full camper covers as well. So as it gets into, as darkness falls and it starts to get a bit damp, the camper covers really come into their own and you can close it off completely. So we're gonna show you into the cockpit first. Um, but as we get onto the boat, you can see there's a really, really neat um, extended platform on either side of the outboard engines. Um, now the outboard engines on here, they're twin um, Yamaha 200s um, and um, only done about 280 hours. Now this model it's a 2019 um, delivered boat and as you come through you'll really appreciate how well it's been looked after and the quality that it shows. Now I wondered what these were to start with, not seen them before but actually there's a ladder under here and they're actually grab handles. So when you come out of the water you've got something to grab hold of to actually pull yourself out of the water and a really neat handle as well um, just to steady yourself coming on and off. Um, you've got electric as well so it's got mains power as well as a transom shower which is really neat. You can see that working. Just in there, it tucks away. In here is just a bit of storage for a hose or whatever else you want to put in there. And then once the outboards go down, you can walk around to the other side as well, as well as we actually have a tow bar on here for sports, for water sports. A really good addition, really solid. Um, but as you come in, because um, this has the sports boat qualities and water sports as well um, in mind, so it's a real mix of cruising as well as good fun out on the water. Um, so as you can see coming into here, there's quite a big cockpit area, really good mood lights. Another thing we want to show you while it's dark, there's actually strip lights underneath um, around the cockpit area as well as blue highlighted lights all through here, which makes a really, feels really nice in here. One of the very neat things though about this cockpit area, it's very adaptable. So the table can be removed and the seats can all fold away apart from the rear bench seat which is mainly laid to storage underneath but it's so easy to bring the seating out and it's and then now you've got a very social cockpit area if you want more space you simply just do this and then you've got a complete walk around and of course you can remove the table for more space as well and there's another additional seat on this side as well. So very easily you can adapt this space. Now this um, actual model, it's got the twin outboards, but you can actually have an inboard diesel option. This doesn't have it, but you still get the space now, which is a beauty of the outboards, is that now you don't have the inboard diesel. What you get instead is an amazing amount of space under here where there would otherwise be an engine there's a big storage box so you get an amazing amount of storage space and that's great for fold up um, inflatable paddle boards inflatable kite anything you want to store down there very easily stowed away including of course um, the table if you don't want it out um, also there's a great bit of storage just under here as well so quick storage, you see electric cables in there at the moment. 
again really good bit of storage um, but I just want to show you the walk around I want to show you around the front if you just follow me through we'll come out the cockpit area just for a second and you've got this really neat walk around which then goes to the front where you've got this really nice setup of the bow cushions and one of the features I really like is actually being able to sit here with your back against the backrest and you can see that's a really nice um, there is actually additional two more cushions that go on here one fits here and the other here so you can make it wider still and of course these backs do not have to be back you can fold them flat as well so you can laze around on a summer's day um, cup holders and there is an escape hatch for the front cabin that you can see there as well so you can get in and out that way it's even laid to teak just underneath the centre section so again you don't even have to have this section in here you can just have the two loungers either side so it's very adaptable or you can have the whole thing one big lounger really like that um, electric anchor access just under here and you can see it's on a windlass and it's on a um, there's a remote control for it just there as well so very easy to get at it's just very easy boat everything's easy I really like it there you can carry on walking around so you can walk around back in this way as well but as you know speciality is they make it wider on one side than the other just to make that easiness one side but you can still access right into the cockpit area on that side as well um, really nice size screen and um, there's no um, there's no windscreen wiper as you can see on the screen but it's a really nice big screen because that's it's sort of sports boat quality when you're at the helm you're looking over the screen mostly and this is for protection let's scoot back down really like these covers they're just really nice they're really nicely thought out but some covers aren't really nicely thought out and the main thing as well is the perspex if you have the metal against the perspex it burns you get these burn marks but you can see they've actually designed it around all the poles it's a really nice feature um, but come around to the helm position we've got two double helm seats with bolsters if you drop the bolster down it's actually a really nice seating position and everything is laid to hand here from the chart plotter to the Yamaha um, digital display um, which shows all the engine instrumentation um, to um, the bow thruster so yes this has a bow thruster as well to the trim tabs and then to obviously the controls for the engine and this has electronic control so again very light there's no mechanical cables here it's just very light and easy to use and between the outboards and the bow thruster very very adaptable um, and the helm position i particularly um, I like the fact there's a double helm seat here as well so you can have forward passengers um, but there's, a, there's, always, there's also a little wet bar and galley area here as well so if you haven't spotted it under here look there's a little gas hob and a pull up tap hot and cold which is unusual for outside wet bars so hot and cold water and also is a small fridge so it opens up that way with a small freezer compartment is in as well up in the cockpit area um, but it's not the only one I'll show you that one in a moment because we're just about to head down below take my shoes off and then as we go down below it's just three easy steps there is a nice door to this lower compartment you can see it's uh, see-through so we can have it closed off or opened up and you've got the little catch to stop it sliding open and then we're down into this very very nice forward v-birth and i hope you can appreciate now it is starting to get dark outside um, but this is so so cozy down here this is i love this um, we've got the lovely lighting effect all the way around um, as well as these lovely fabric covers so they're not like leatherette they're not cold they're nice and warm to sit on um, the table as well that drops down onto this lip when you remove the pedestal and there's an infill cushion for here to make this into a double berth um, but it's not the only berth we'll show you the other one in a sec um, but one thing I really like about this and a lot of the Genos have done this now is having these windows either side and you can actually as I'm looking out of this window now I'm actually looking out to the River Hamble it's really nice 
asking me to just have a little whiz round is that we can really see look at that it's just beautiful sat here looking out it's just a really nice feature these windows and now here we are down in the mid cabin and as you can see again it's part open plan to the rest of the cabin but it's just so cozy down here again we've got this lighting and a top light here there's actually storage cupboards here there's two storage cupboards down the end and there's access to ancillaries behind here as well um, and good storage you can see is this storing some bottles of water up here but again if i take that out of the way look there's a nice again there's nice windows even down in this um, mid cabin and because it's not enclosed off because it doesn't have a door because it's all open there's no sort of bulkhead where the stairs are this feels really open there's no it doesn't feel claustrophobic like a lot of sports cruisers do they just don't have that feel down here it just feels very open this feels like a bit more of a suite than an actually a cabin you'd sleep in this feels like a, a suite with the seating up there in the morning you can imagine just getting yourself out of bed going to the galley getting the you know getting the kettle on um, you've got another sink down here with hot and cold water again um, but also oh i think i'll make myself a pot of porridge in the morning look i've got a i've got a microwave in there um and there's what's in here Oh, there's a bit of storage in there. There's, there's a couple of um, baskets and stuff screwed to the walls, which is good storage. But also, look, it's a second fridge. Really unusual for this sort of size of sports cruiser to have two large fridges as well. And this has even got an even bigger freezer compartment than the one upstairs. So it's a full width freezer compartment in there. Really cool, really nice. Um, and then more storage in this cupboard here. There's a couple of baskets in there. And you can see just for storage and um, and then you can even see there's little cubby holes and things in here to store things. Storage under the seats, um, the storage under the floor. So they, everywhere they can get some storage, they sort of packed it in. Um, but of course, the best part, well, I think so, is always obviously as a sports cruiser, there's always a compromise in here. You know, you can't stand up, you can't you know, sit down, you give a shower, you sit on the toilet. You know, it's really, you know, it's really not great. It's a sort of an afterthought. But let me just open the door. First of all, put the lights on. And again, you can see the mood lighting around the sink. Really nice tabletop, you know, um, sink on there. I really like that. Um, it does have a own shower cubicle and this does actually shut off so it becomes a separate shower to the rest of the shower room but they've doubled it up with the toilet as well but the toilet is actually covered so the toilet is here you can cover it up and then you can see there's actually a shower attachment which goes up onto here and this then this room becomes a shower um, and you've obviously got the separate shower there's also another one which you can put out there as well so if you wanted to wash your hair in there or something or i don't know really why you do that but um but then you've got the adjust the tap on there again storage everywhere but i really like the separate shower so you can keep that um you don't have it's not a big wet room it's a really nice design in there I'm really impressed and all in a effectively a nine meter boat so it's a beautiful beautiful design i really i really appreciate what they've done with the cap camera over the years and um, it's really come on so i think if you want something that's easy to use which is versatile which you can sleep on which you can easily moor up you can single hand it um, with good sea keeping capabilities and um, and a good um, and a good turn of speed as well. Um, we actually bought this back from Torquay um, with the current owner, and um, it took us four hours to get from Torquay back to Hamble. We were doing about 25 knots, 23 to 25 knots, and it was just an easy cruising speed all the way back. And um, it was just a really nice run, and the boat performed brilliantly all the way back. Um, so if you're after um, a really decent Juno cap camera nine meter boat with twin outboards barrel thruster all this accommodation then please come and see it uh, parker-adams.co.uk you can make an arrangement to come and view the boat um, otherwise subscribe to our channel come and see the other videos 
um, on our YouTube channel, Parker Adams Boat Sales. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this one and hopefully see you on the next. Um, but again, from us all at Parker Adams Boat Sales, I'll say goodbye. Thanks again.